This is the Maze Runner, where we're driving around a little tank, a RC tank here, and we're going to hit three checkpoints on the board. And as as the tanks are riding around the board, there are random uh, doors moving, rotating, and also going up and down on the board, uh, and which makes it really difficult. Also, when we start the game, you'll see that this starts to rotate on hard mode. It starts to rotate, which uh, also makes it difficult. And then once once all three checkpoints are activated, the final corridor will open up, uh, where this this door will will drop down, and then the tank will drive in. And there's a little ball trap here on the edge. If if the ball hits, then it'll say that that you were hit, and these doors will start to go nuts, uh, to just because you were hit. Yeah, make it harder to finish. And then we have a final. Uh, finish resistor here. So all the checkpoints are activated by photoresistors. Just four buttons on the controller, um, and then the tank is driven by PPC motors, um, and then the LED uh, came with it, and so we kept it because it looks kind of cool. But uh, I think it also kind of helps you see it while you're on the map because sometimes it's a little harder to see. Um, we did have to actually pull the tank apart and slow it down. It went way too fast initially, like incredibly fast. Um, and it was uncontrollable, it's still uh, even almost too much to control the maze, but we reduced it by about 70% by checking the voltage that was going to the DC motors and then uh, figuring out which resistor we would need to put in front of that to slow it down, so. Oh, okay. Alright, so there it's indicating you to put it in the square. It'll sense that and trigger um, a new LCD display. You can take over from here. Okay, so there's a couple buttons. Uh, button options, press button number one to start the game, press button number two for the game rules. Uh, and the game rules menu is actually kind of long, so I pretty much explained that before. We have three checkpoints that you, you got to get before you get into the final corridor. There is a health pack also that adds about 15 seconds to your total time. And for the hard, hard mode, which we're about to do, uh, you're given about 200 seconds total to complete the whole maze. So we'll start the game. And we'll choose hard mode. And there's a countdown and it starts. And then a random door. Uh, the random generator closes one of the random start doors. And then you start. So the Arduino Uno is uh, controlling all of the random doors. And we, we decided to delegate all the random door functionality just to the Uno. Uh, just to make it simple programming wise and also we had so many pins that we had to separate um, we have a do which has a ridiculous amount of pins I think it's like 52 something like that and then also the uno and we almost ended up using all the pins of the do as well as the uno so that's our, that's our play zone I could sit here for there, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So every time he, he hits, every time he hits a yeah, checkpoint, the LED noise. turns blue, and also uh, okay. it's supposed to be making a noise, so our volume might be. Try turning it off and on again, just see what happens. <laughs> and he's got one more checkpoint to get to before he can access the final corridor. Okay. Okay. Well, it helps you that time, didn't it? Yeah, if you, yeah it's kind of strategic. If you go one way with it, it'll help you. If you go one way with it, it'll just destroy you. Okay, file checkpoints been activated. So it says here all checkpoints activated, and that door just dropped. So there's a photo sensor here that when he runs over it, it's going to activate this, this servo motor and release the ball, which it just hit him. So it just says, it says run, and then you got hit. Because we have another photo resistor here and that starts uh, these doors. senses whether, the, whether he got hit or not, whether, depending on the, if the ball reached it in time. So he's on the final... And it says congratulations at the end. So, so the photoresistors using three picks, and it's using the pot value function, and it senses the photoresistor. So we are using servos over here for the doors, 
they're sliding and rotating both of them? There's about 15 servos in there. When you pull it up, it pulls the string up with it, and therefore it pulls the door up as well. And then these, uh, we have guide rails here to keep it straight while it's going up because we're having issues uh, with it getting like stuck on an edge. So we also have one uh, DC motor that powers the spinning device.